fret not thyself because of evil doers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb trust in the lord and do good so shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart commit thy way unto the lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be yea thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth the lord shall laugh at him for he seeth that his day is coming psalms 37 verses 1 to 13 dear friends this message is entitled the end of the wicked this passage that i just read from psalms can be received personally by all the children of god however it also has a prophetic fulfillment verse 10 says for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be yea thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be according to verse 10 the lord is telling us do not fret the wicked will be completely and permanently removed from this world today the roman catholic church the greatest wicked power ever has rebelled against god for hundreds of years close to about 1500 years it is this spiritual whore that has led this world in some of the most disgusting abominations all the traders and leaders of this world have become rich by submitting to the pope of rome and it is sometimes hard to see the wicked flourish but the word of god commands us not to be envious about the riches of the men of babylon there are also many christians who have forsaken the lord and have ran behind the riches of babylon the lord commands us to give them the loud cry to return to his fold by fleeing from babylon for soon the wicked along with their riches are going to perish the recent calamities in kerala and other parts of the world are a great witness to this eternal truth many in kerala had big houses and many riches their pride had almost reached the portals of heaven and demanded god's justice and it fell upon them none could stop it these are only the beginning of god's judgments far greater indescribable judgments are soon to fall on this entire world for the entire earth has given itself to the wicked babylon their wickedness and abominations have not brought guilt in them it has brought pride and arrogance 
these are only the beginning of God's judgments. Far greater, indescribable judgments are soon to fall on this entire world. For the entire earth has given itself to the wicked Babylon. Their wickedness and abominations have not brought guilt in them. It has brought pride and arrogance. The wise save their riches in heaven, but the foolish save their riches on earth. Which one are you?